You found Cindy? You know I can't answer you that, Matthew. Yes, I know that, ma'am. Sorry. I was just worried about her. Matthew, you do your job and I'll do mine, okay? Fine. I'll go check if the printer's out of paper for the third time this morning. I'll pick them up later. Later will be too late. Sarah, why are you giving Carlos attitude? See, she's the one giving me attitude since last week. <sighs> Looks like you have to go sit somewhere else then. Maybe with your boyfriend? What boyfriend? Don't act blur. We all know it's Jackson. Good morning, class. Drink this, it'll make you feel better. What's that? I don't really drink this kind of stuff. You do now. Trust me, it's a hangover kill. I got the recipe when I was working at Homia. Homia? It was like a lifetime ago. Let's talk more soon. Mm. I hope Young can taste this. He's out of control. Drinking the night away, you have to deal with the consequences in the morning? I'll deal with him. Are you sure he's gonna listen to you? I'll handle it. Don't worry. How about this? Not bad. Lawyer who likes to travel. Huh, huh, huh? Yeah, not bad. Eh, oh, this one. Wow. Rich boy, sports car, and he's quite cute. Looks like your type. Ew, no, that's Aloysius. I went out with him before. And then? What happened? Nothing. I went out with him just to make Shen jealous. Shen? When was this? A long time ago. I was young and stupid. Ella? Are you over him? Who? Aloysius? I was never into him. I'm talking about Dr. Shen. Yeah, of course. Are you crazy? We've been weird around Yoke ever since she and Shen got engaged. I've always been weird around Yoke. She and I are not friends. And of course, I'm over Shen. Good. How about this one? How about this one? So not bad. Mm. Hey, this one and this one, this one. Mm. I tell you, like there's this guy that's like super cute. Oh my god. No, serious. Gee! <laughs> <laughs> hey, the coach. Right? No, yeah, serious. Okay, hey, that's my bag! Then mention if they have found Cindy. Well, all I know is no one's reported her missing. It's been less than what, 24 hours since her phone call. This whole thing just doesn't feel right. You know, maybe she's caught up in something dangerous. Well, maybe there are many possible reasons why she's uncontactable. Right? She could be sick, busy, overseas. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You don't seem convinced. I just can't shake off that phone call. Maybe she's just messing with you. Right? You said that to someone messing with you. Well, this could be the next move that you're expecting. Don't fall for it. Huh? Yes, I 
see. Did I do something? Why are you so angry with me? What do you mean? You've been ignoring me the whole day. And the whole class is against me for some reason. Against you? I didn't notice any of that. Do you guys? See? We didn't notice anything. You didn't see? When I came into class, everyone took my chairs away? Really? But didn't you get a seat? Only after the teacher came into the room. I guess class was starting, so everyone was rushing to get a seat. Okay, maybe. But what about just now? Sheila knocked over my stuff on purpose. Sheila is just clumsy. She's not over Regina's stuff for like a billion times. Right, Regina? I'm not making this up. Nobody said you're making things up. But, I mean, you're away from Singapore for so long, so maybe you're just not used to a life here. Cut the crap, Amethyst. I know you have a problem with me. I just want to know why. Hey, look, Jackson, why don't we ask him what he thinks about this? Jackson! No. We've been hearing so much about the date yesterday. So romantic. What date? Don't be shy. Nina saw us everything, even about the kiss. Come on, Nina. You told us how Jackson held your hand and then sent you back home and then kissed you outside your front door. What? Why would you say that? I didn't! She's lying! I can't believe you're accusing me of lying just because you want to look good in front of Jackson. I thought we were friends. It's not an accusation. It's a fact. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm out. Jackson, I... Saifu. Ew. Leaving so early? Yeah, I got some stuff to settle. What stuff? So I've been narrowing down Cindy's usual hangout spots. I'm gonna go and look for her. Have you run this by ASP thing? No. Well, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna go a few places. What's the harm in that? I've been thinking about it. Okay. Whoever's framing me, this person is extremely resourceful. He or she knows stuff about me. So we need to proceed very carefully. There's no telling what they might do next. If they are behind Cindy's disappearance, who knows who else they... Yo. I need your help. It's Yang. What did he do this time? He's out of control. He's doing anything he wants, drinking all night, leaving Shen to deal with the hangover. It might be best to let Shen and his therapist work it out. Yang doesn't listen to I me. I don't think Shen is taking this seriously enough. You need to have some faith in Shen. He's a fighter. I've seen him pick himself up, work through this on his own. He'll get through this even without our help. Hangers feet are so big, just like the real kangaroo. Yeah, so she can hop all the way back to Australia. Eh, maybe that's why she's carrying such a big bag. It's her pouch. <laughs> For her baby with Jason. Hey, eh, you know kangaroos can hear really well, right? What is your problem? Everything is, you're right. The kangaroo hurt us. <laughs> Stop it! What are you talking about? I don't know why you're doing this to me. I did nothing to you. Leave me alone. She's just like a dad who dated her mom's best friend just days after she passed. Hey, 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 hey! Shen, I need to talk to you. It's about you. What is there to talk about? I think she might be in danger. What? Why would she be in danger? Just protect her, okay? Of course I'll protect her. I'm her fiancé. But you can't just say that she might be in danger and just leave it at that. What danger? Look, I'm not keeping things from you on purpose. I'm just not allowed to tell you. Just watch out for anything or anybody that's suspicious. Why would Yoke even be involved? Did you drag her into it? Seems to me that as long as you stay away from her, she won't be in danger. I'll stay away from her. Good. Only until everything blows over. You better make sure everything blows over and nothing happens to her. Yeah, 
I must be crazy. I still thought you were my friend. Ugh. But you're just a mean, ah. manipulative bully! Let me go, you're hurting me! Amethyst! Ah. Amethyst, are you okay? For the medical seminar tomorrow, I've invited a few reporters over as well. So please prepare a press statement. Yo and I will be there as well to give some sound bites. I'll draft a statement later. Oh, remember to prep for some questions. They may ask you about your new position. I know. What's wrong? Nothing. Sorry. Water, please. Thank you. Are you hungover? I'm not going to ask you for details. But ever since the engagement, you've been acting strange. You've frequently gone missing. You don't answer your calls with no explanation. You're hiding something. I... I don't care what you're doing outside or who you are with. I know how you men are. Whatever it is, just make sure it doesn't get in the way of your relationship with you. Understood? This marriage is very important. You're the most important thing in my life. I'll never let anything or anyone jeopardize what we have. Mommy, she attacked me. I didn't even do anything. Nina, is this true? See, I told you. Go back to class. All of you. Nina, can we talk? Tell me what happened. Does it matter? You're her mother. Of course you're going to believe what she says. That's not true. You know there are always two sides to a story. Yes, you can hear both sides. But it can only take one side. And it might not be mine. I think you should take the rest of the day off. I'll send you home. My dad's supposed to pick me up, but he's still in office. I'll drop you off at his office. Please don't tell my dad about this. You don't have to believe me, but just don't tell my dad. Calm down, Nina. I promise, I won't tell your dad anything. Uh, Khalid, this isn't for kids. Why? There's carry stuff inside. If you look at it, you'll get nightmares. I'm not scared. Really? You're very brave. Here is. What happened to those people in the book? Um, you know your books at home have pictures inside, so you can imagine the story? It's the same, but this is for adults. So it's not real? No, no, it's not. Good job. You handled it well. Yeah, I better be careful about leaving my textbooks out next time. Parenting is like that. Running around, putting out fires. I did some research. Do you know that unmarried men can't adopt? Oh, really? So, you will have to ask Ilya to co-adopt Khalid with you once you're married. Uh. Yeah, I'll talk to her about it when the time is right. Okay. I just want to get an answer soon. So I can tell you Abang when I see him. Oh, you're meeting him? I wrote him a letter explaining everything. Hopefully he forgives me. Okay. I'm thinking about it. I promise. If we up the graphics, it will do this. Annabelle? Nina? What's the matter? Is everything okay? I'll leave you to it, Kenneth. We'll continue this later. Shira, actually, if you don't mind, can you bring Nina along with you? I just want to have a word with Annabelle. Okay. Nina, let's go to my office. What's wrong? Is Nina in trouble? 
she was just having a difficult day and I thought it would be good for her to take a break. Difficult in, in, in what way? Well, she's having some trouble adjusting. Nothing surprising. A change in environment can be hard on kids. I'll spend some time talking to her later. Thank you so much for dropping off. No problem. Laurie, hmm. you didn't cook for you. She said she's not eating at home tonight. Hmm? Did she say who she was eating with? I think with Dr. Shen. You did take my words to heart after all. Good. You can bring my dinner out now. Shen's not in. Please reschedule your appointment. Actually, I came to see you. Me? <laughs> to what do I owe the honour? Do you think this is a joke? You just run around doing anything and Shen has to deal with the mess? Mess? What mess? Shen has been completely exhausted nowadays because of who knows what you've been doing all night. Sick and hung over. And the daily reports you promised, where are they? Fine, fine. I'll do it. Stop nagging. It's not a good look on you. You better... Or else. <laughs> or else what? Or else, you'll get your privileges revoked. Privileges? I am just a prisoner you let out for half the day. Is that what you call a privilege? Maybe it was better for me to just stay locked up inside. Better than living this half-life where I'll never be free. I know you hate my existence. But it's not my fault I didn't ask for this. Well, Shen didn't either. So don't punish him for it. Because he's Dr. Jekyll and I'm Mr. Hyde? Because he's the angel and I'm the devil who wants to take over his body? Your son is not as innocent as he seems. <sighs> Forget it. It's not your fault anyway. I shouldn't yell at you. Just go home, okay? I'm not going to do anything. It's late. I'm just going to sleep. You can check the damn CCTVs if you want. Stop giving Shen trouble. <sighs> Nina Bala, what is this I hear about a fight? Did you really get into a fight with Amethyst? I have a conference call to make. Shira, can you please watch her until I'm back? Sure, go. I'll be back to deal with you. And please don't cause any problems. Did you really get into a fight? She was the one who started it. What happened? Doesn't matter. Everyone's going to believe Amethyst anyways. Annabelle promised she wouldn't tell Dad, but she did. Can't trust the doubts. I agree. You don't have to tell anyone anything if you don't want to. But if you do want to, I want you to know I'm here to listen. And I won't take sides, not even yours. If you don't want me to.
And then just got the whole class picking on me. The client? No, he hasn't showed up yet. Guess I have a free night after all. Okay, time to think of a plan. What plan? You're not gonna let Amethyst just get away with it, are you? What can I do? I don't even know why she's doing this to me. She's threatened by you. Threatened? Why would she be threatened by me? For starters, you're confident, smart and independent. You have a mind of your own that she can't control. She's targeting you because she's jealous. But that's... That's... Petty, small-minded and spiteful. Yes. Those are all characteristics of bullies. And the best way to deal with bullies... Stand up to them. See how smart you are. Did you pick up the phone? Uh, yeah, ma'am. Who called? It, it was Kalex's teacher. What did they say? Is Kalex okay? Uh, the teacher said Kalex got into a fight. They want someone to fetch him home. Thanks. I'll go over now. No, no need. You, you need to be at the restaurant. I'll go. But this is an emergency. Emergency? Nonsense. I'm free. I'll pick him up. Okay, Ilya will take care of the restaurant. Ilya still needs supervision. 